WMBG AM 740. Jennifer's here from Heritage Humane Society. We're going to be chatting with her in just a couple of seconds here. This Heritage Humane Society's Pause for Pause segment is proudly sponsored by Mermaid Books. As our music winds down, you can hear the panting in the background. And Jennifer's here from Heritage Humane Society. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Not too bad. And Nora has been on with us before, and Nora is back. And Nora and I are good buddies. Yes. I'm glad to see her back. She again. was very happy. She, uh, I think she immediately knew where we were. Uh-huh. She she naturally uh, marked one of the bushes um, <laughs> as her territory. So yeah, I think yeah, she... Uh, that, that's right. She was very happy to, to come back. Um, yeah, she's been at the shelter for a while, so we wanted to bring her back um, because uh, we're really hoping to get her adopted this week. Um, she's such a great girl, um, and if you check out the video and the photos, um, she's beautiful. She'd be a great family dog. Um, she just wants to hang around people, get lots of love and attention. Um, so please check her out, learn some information about her, come by the shelter to meet her um, because she's great, and we we're really really hoping to get a good home for her. Um, we actually do have quite a few dogs at the shelter right now. We're pretty full, so we're really hoping some people will come by this week um, to check out some of our great adoptable dogs. Um, and the big thing I tell people is you're not just saving one life, you're saving two. Um, because if you adopt a uh, animal from the shelter, that means that there's room for another animal to be rescued. Mm-hmm. So um, please yeah, so. come by if you've been thinking about possibly adopting um, any critter, but um, we do have quite a few great adoptable dogs right now um, that really need a good home. Um, so we're open 12 to 4.30, Tuesday through Sunday. Um, and you can go to our website, heritagehumane.org, um, to learn more about our adoptable critters. And I'll make it even more personal. Please come and adopt Nora so yes. I don't have to. Because <laughs> we already have Cassie and Lindy at our house. And, yes. and, and, and I don't know how many four-legged children we can accommodate. <laughs> so uh, I'm tempted, but uh, I'm not going to succumb to temptation. Okay. Yeah. Well, along with Nora, I, always a lot of stuff going on over at Heritage Humane Society mm-hmm. and kind of bring us up to date as to what occurred over the weekend and what is coming up. Yeah, this weekend, we actually, we didn't have any events um, this past weekend. We do have um, our PetSmart National Adoption Weekend coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, Was May, that this weekend? It's no. uh, May 17th through the 19th. Okay. Um, so we're going to be over at PetSmart off of Monticello um, with some adoptable dogs. Well, we usually bring some adoptable small small critters as well, like guinea mm. pigs and rabbits. Um, and we have a adoption, uh, a cat center over there as well. Right. So we'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, So you can come by, learn some information about the shelter, um, and also meet some of our adoptable pets there. Mm -hmm. Um, So you can hopefully um, adopt one of the the critters like Nora. And you know, being on the backside of spring break now, for uh, you parents with school-aged children, and you know, summer is just around the corner because we're well into May now. Yeah. And what that would mean is it is time for camps, animal camps and pet camps That's over right. at Heritage Humane Society. Yeah. So kind of bring us up to date on that. Yeah, we're gearing up for uh, our summer animal camps, which are coming up pretty quick. Um, we're offering four weeks um, of camps this summer, um, so July and August, and actually um, uh our last August camp um, is officially full, so they are filling up pretty quickly. Um, so definitely um, go to heritagehumane.org um, backslash camp, and uh, you can learn a little more about um, the camps um, because they are filling up real quick. Um, they're week long. Um, if you have an animal lover in your family that wants to learn um, what it takes to take care of animals, um, it's a great, great camp. Um, so they get to learn the ins and outs um, of how to take care of animals at the shelter and we also bring in a lot of professionals in the field um, like veterinarians um, so that way they can uh, learn all about uh, taking care of critters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and Nora, hey, no, here comes Nora to see me right now, as a matter of fact. Well, you heard your name now, didn't you, Carl? Yeah. yeah. Oh, very, very nice. Well, it's you know, I can't, at the risk of sounding patronizing, but but I'm really not. You folks do such a wonderful job over there, and and many of you know this, perhaps some of you don't. This actually started as a JC's project many, mm-hmm. many years ago, 
and just stop and you know when i sit down and think about this how many lives you've saved of god's four-legged creatures you know it, it's it's astounding yeah it's and yeah. the city of williamsburg the community is amazing um we definitely couldn't do all we do without um the mm-hmm. support we have so we're we're very fortunate um it was 1,393 lives we saved last year. Absolutely. And we're just hoping to do more this year. And what I love about the people in the historic triangle, being in the city of Williamsburg, James City County, York County, and New Kent County, uh, actually it's more than that, uh, they come running whenever there's a need. Yeah, you know, which all is of a sudden, amazing. If you come on the air and say, hey, we're running low on this or pet food or mm-hmm. whatever, it, it's like the sky opens up, and you've never seen so many blankets and pet yeah, food and it's, it's all that so stuff. Yeah, it's so heartwarming. In your life. Yeah, a couple yeah. months ago, we put on our Facebook page um, that we needed uh, puppy formula, mm-hmm. and we got about twenty boxes from Amazon two days afterwards. Um, it oh, was that, just, that, it was, it's so heartwarming um, to see how yeah. community helps out um, all the critters that that need the help. So we're always very appreciative. Well, Jennifer, thank you for being here, and we've got more of the good stuff coming up 22 minutes after 9 o'clock. Mermaid Books is proud to have sponsored this Pause for Pause segment. Mermaid Books, used and rare books, antiques, vintage postcards, classic fiction, children's books, and of course, books about all creatures great and small. 